Capro again, and uh, John pulled me over. We've got to take a look at this thing. It's what? Gaming for financial services, essentially? Well, it's... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I guess, I guess it's Not a risk for risk that. takers, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's got the, this machine is our HF1, our high frequency server. So high frequency it. trading. Let's talk about that yes. for a minute. These are guys to whom milliseconds are money. Right, right. And they're trying to get a trade off into the exchange before anybody else does. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's a big deal and they will spend whatever it takes to be able to do it because it's massive. Yeah, it's Profit. purely about performance. What they're looking for is uh, they focus on network latency, but yeah. network latency everybody's playing on the same playing Pretty field. Flat. What they're, they're looking, yeah. yeah, what they're looking for is a differentiator that'll give them a competitive edge. But you were saying that it's uh, single-threaded applications, so the industry is going away from it. Right. So what when when our customers, a couple of our prospective customers came to us and said, hey, you know what? Well, we we feel that the, the the way the technology is going is not addressing our needs, and yeah. what they needed was they needed faster clock frequencies, not necessarily more cores. So the okay. faster frequency, don't care about the threading so much. Yes. Okay. Yes. So and they wanted. They're not going to virtualize anything. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So they they were looking purely for performance and speed, and they said, hey, I like what these guys are doing in the gaming world, but I, I can't. I need the reliability and the serviceability of a server. server. It's yeah. got to be a server. So, so we. Put together. So what we put together here was a, 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 a what, what is a heart of a gaming system inside of a server body. Okay, we have a server board in here uh, that we are overclocking the two Intel Xeon processors. As you can see, there's CPU blocks with coolant coming in and out. Yep. This is a completely closed loop cooling system where you have a reservoir of coolant. Okay, yep. and then it's going through the CPU to remove the heat. Yep. That heated uh, heated liquid is being cooled by this radiator that has fans attached to it. Good. So Good. it's a standard front uh, front pull push back uh, okay. cooling methodology. And by doing that, what we're able to do is we're able to overclock the processors from a standard three three point one gigahertz all the way up to four point four gigahertz. Four point four. Right. And now that's reliably four point four. Reliably factory all tested four point four. Right. That's and a that's deal. on all cores, by the way. So all six cores, all twelve cores are running at 4.4 gigahertz. That's a big deal, right? And it is a difference maker for these guys that uh, that where sub microseconds it makes a big difference for them. Yeah. Okay. So this gives them a performance edge. But the key is, though, it's still a server, and it's got the server reliability. You said it also has uh, remote management. Well, the things that you, we take for granted uh, for a server is really not addressed in the gaming market, right? No. So, I mean, what gamer wants to have remote management to their gaming? That's just overhead. Right. Yeah. So what we did was we integrated a remote management capability okay. so that you'd be able to remotely manage the entire server, power on, power off, get into the BIOS, uh, 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 check out the system health remotely. Okay. Yeah. We also put in things like uh, redundant power supplies, serviceable power supplies, redundant disks, either okay. SSDs or hard drives, okay. DVD-ROM to put software into. Okay. okay. And so this is a 3U server box. I mean, if you look at it from the outside, it looks like a regular Free yeah. server box. I mean, it's essentially you got gigabit. Okay, we got gigabit I/O in the back. I mean, it's essentially a gamer box without the video. Yes. Right. And with all the reliability and availability and serviceability that you would expect from the server. How long has this been out? This was launched, I think. Uh, gosh, a couple, a couple months ago, I would think. Okay. Okay. It was a it was a pretty big splash. Uh, we've been getting a lot of interest in the box. We've actually have some customers that are testing this at the exchange. Okay. okay. So we're hopeful that in the next uh, foreseeable future, in the next quarter or so, we'll be able to make some public announcements. See, this is kind of the, this is the niche kind of thing that the major guys don't. Oh, uh, they won't go even touch this. No, they don't have enough volume on yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, because our customer, our prospects actually came to us and told us. You know, we really originally approached the big guys to do it, but yeah. they didn't want to touch it. No. Right? So no. But we, as a uh, uh, kind of a leading edge, uh, high performance computing specialist, we said, hey, that's a challenge. We, we'll take yeah. on that challenge. Yeah. And it's really consistent with our overall corporate messaging, which is really all about performance. That's a really interesting box. You want to give me a price range on something like this? Can well, you it's do expensive. That? <laughs> well, yeah, it's but, not going to be but, cheap. But expensive is relative. Yes. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. So a box like this is probably going to cost you anywhere from about fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. I was actually expecting a little bit more, more than that. Yeah. A little so there bit. you go. It's actually affordable. I wouldn't say that. Okay. I'm but, sorry. But. But it's 
more that's more better than I thought. But the uh, that's interesting. How many memory so uh, sockets we have? Well, we got six memory sockets per CPU, so you got 12 memory sockets, okay. which means you can do about 96 gigabytes. Okay. Very cool. Well, thanks again, and we'll talk right. to you later. All right. Thank you. Bye.